right, welcome back to the Pope Physical Education Center. Dexter Henry, I'm here with head coach John Thurston. And coach, another win for you guys at home, uh, two in a row, 2-0 in a young season. What does it mean for you guys to start off, to get off to such a good start here at home? Well, we don't play at home that often, so this is only our second game. And, uh, and it seems like last year when we played Army, it doesn't seem like it was this season. Um, and it's, it's tough to have a good record when you're playing so many so many road games so it's important when you do come home that you're uh, that you're putting forth your best effort and uh, I thought we had the same energy tonight that we had when we played Army which was great and I know everyone's excited about the Australian connection and scoring but I thought the real story in the game was the job that Maria did on Stephanie Carr's number 10 from Loyola who's a great player and she I thought Maria completely frustrated her uh, when Dana came in she did a great job on her but Maria really sacrificed her scoring um, kept her off the boards that girl's a great offensive rebounder uh, she couldn't turn the corner on Maria uh, Maria kept the ball out of her hands it was a, one of the best defensive jobs I've had any player uh, since I've been here um, but I know everyone sees the threes and the acrobatic layups but that defensive performance only the real basketball aficionados can appreciate that. You talked about an individual individual defensive performance but I know that was a goal of your team to stop the guards from penetrating including Saar and uh, you guys did a great job in shutting down when you hold them to below 35 percent shooting and you see that from your team how good does that make you feel going forward. Right, well I mean it's great I, again I thought we had great energy throughout the whole game and we rebounded well throughout the whole game. Um, our, our key at this young season so far has been our ability to, to rebound. Um, you know, we're within a couple of seconds of having five wins at this time of the year, but the teams that have given us trouble are the teams that are the really good offensive rebounding teams. So um, I, I thought we rebounded early. Uh, we got all the hustle plays. We got all the loose balls, the 50-50 balls. And when you do that, and you, you know you have great shooters like Jade and Alex, uh, you know good things are going to happen. All right, let's talk a little bit about the offense. And you're going to see six threes from Jade tonight, but also Amy O'Neill with a very strong game. She did a little bit of everything. Uh, how good has she been for you and guys in getting your offense going and making everybody work so fluidly on offense? Well, I thought this was her best all-around game. I think she was a little frustrated after the Seton Hall game. Um, but, you know, there's always there's an old saying is in basketball is that the first two people in the gym, right, when you when you have like a shoot around and the first two people in the gym are going to have a good game. And this morning when I got here, Amy and Jade were already in the gym mm. and both had great games. That's Amy's best game. And, and Jade has that ability every every night when you when you have that range on your shot and that confidence makes the game a whole lot, whole lot easier at least a lot easier than it ever was for me. <laughs> so. no doubt. Well hey we won't focus too much on Australian connection. We tell the viewers they can enjoy the defense too. We enjoyed the defense tonight so uh, hopefully you guys keep it up. It was a great defensive effort but really by everyone but uh, especially Maria. Yeah definitely great job by Maria Pellerino and the Terriers tonight. They pick up their second win of the season here at home uh, and they'll look to improve on that as they go further. We'll be back with more on the Terrier Sports Network after these messages.